basically say if your interviewer asks, what are your deal breakers? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now this video right here is part of our Get Hired series. This is rather special because this is actually a live recording of our podcast episode recording, okay? And if you're not familiar with that, we do have the Get Hired podcast up on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all major podcasting platforms. And the new link then to that podcast will be in the description box. Sa baba. That is where we talk about the good answers for the things of mga common job interview questions, like tell me something about yourself, rate yourself from 1 to 10, or yung isa sa mga pinakamahirap sagutin, which is why should we not hire you? Okay, napag-usapan na natin yan last time. So if you haven't listened to that yet, I'll link it in the description box. Sa baba. Okay, now today we're going to talk about what are your deal breakers and we are going to dive right in. Alright, so this question right here was actually requested by John Lynn Tapgos. This is just among followers natin, uh, on Facebook and sa ating ibang mga platforms. And uh, the sad story is that John Lynn was asked this question, pero hindi daw siya masyadong nakapaghanda. So she didn't know what to say because she didn't know kung ano ibig sabihin ng deal breakers. And of course, hindi niya nasagot yung tanong na yun. Now, let's go muna dun sa definition ng deal breakers. One of the favorite na games that I play with my siblings is Monopoly Deal. Okay? I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but it's basically a hard game na parang mas fast-paced na version ng Monopoly, which is the board game. No? And there's this card there. I will never forget it. It's a deep purple yung kulay niya. And it's called the Deal Breaker. Basically, kapag nilagay mo yon, the, the person, the other person can't say no. But in the context of deal breakers in the real world, ang ibig sabihin no, these are things na pag nangyari ito, or pag nakita mo ito, it would, it would make you leave, or quit, or say no. For example, if you have a maniligaw, tapos this person, sabi natin, smokes. For me ha, ang smoking is a deal, deal breaker. I can't stand it. Uh, hindi ko kaya yung amoy, hindi ko kaya yung uh, entire thing. Uh, so, I, I really can't do uh, yung, yung, yung smoking na yan. And I can't be with a smoker. So, that is a deal breaker for me. So, when someone asks you sa isang setting ng job interview na, what are your deal breakers? You have to think about things that would make you quit yung job. And to the point na magkukwit ka talaga ng kahit na ayaw nilang magkwit ka or kahit na uh, they give you so much more money, you would leave. Now, actually, this is a really great question in my perspective uh, as someone who was in the HR department then that day. This is a great question because if you ask a person this, you kind of know if they fit sila with the company. And you can also hold them, medyo, lalo na kumalit yung firm ninyo, hold them accountable to what they said in the interview. Because kung kunwari, Sabi sila, nagsabi sila na ang deal breaker lang nila would be this. Tapos sila sila nagquit. Di ba, pwede mo sabihin na, wait lang, you said that your deal breaker is this. Um, did something change? Did something happen? So again, you can open another conversation. So how do we respond? Pag tinanong ka na, what are your deal breakers? I have three na eyes, which are the things that I would talk about kung ako yung tinanong nito sa isang interview. Yun yung pag-uusapan natin, yung hihimayin natin. Okay? Now, my first... I is this. First deal, deal breaker ko is if the company engages in immoral acts. Okay? So again, I for immoral. Now, what is immoral ba? Ang immoral are things that are not moral. These are terrible things, bad things. For example, if a company is engaged in sabihin natin, something big like human trafficking or um, like um, it's, uh, it's purposefully getting people sick. Alam nila na kunwari may lead yung kanilang products or may may something na dangerous or dangerous substance pero hindi nila pinapull out sa market. Okay? So it's immoral. Okay? Ibig sabihin maling-mali talaga siya. I would quit. So my number one deal breaker is if there is something immoral going on. Okay? Now, the second deal breaker would be this. If there is something illegal. So again, I na naman. 
Okay? So, my second deal breaker would be if there's something illegal going on in the company. If the company is not paying the right taxes, if the company is hiring and firing people at whim, if they are not giving their employees the right benefits. Of course, hindi ko to hihimayin dun sa HR, no? Pero these are just examples of things that are illegal. If they engage in under-the-table na mga activities, then that is a deal-breaker for me. Now, why do I establish that early? No? I know sometimes may mga companies na... And again, it's a sad reality, you know, my companies who would say na, are you willing to say doctor yung books kung accountant ka? Or are you willing to turn a blind eye kung merong mga suhulan sa deals para makakuha tayo ng deals with certain companies? Para makapag-close tayo, kailangan may cut si ganyan, may cut si ganun. And it's really good, in my perspective ha, absolutely good that you set these limitations right away. Bakit? I know some people would say na, no, it's okay kasi desperate na ako for a job. But if you think uh, in th of things na nasa long term, saying yes to a job that is in, uh, engaging in illegal activities can really affect you ng pangmatagalan. Sometimes, and again, we've seen this happen again and again in news, kahit sa mga teleserye, kahit sa mga, mga TV series and movies, sometimes they have what they call the fall guy or fall girl. No? Anong may sabihin nun? If you enter a company and they're engaging in legal activities and ikaw yung pinaka newbie dun, di ba? Syempre, wala pa kayong malalalim na ties with each other. The moment that, say, the government or someone catches on yung ginagawang illegal, ang tendency would be, ikaw na hindi masyadong close sa kanila, ikaw yung matatapunan ng sisi. Ibe-blame sa'yo na, hindi siya yung gumagawa nito, kahit naman hindi ikaw. So, kahit na this will cost you that job or that opportunity, take it as a good thing. Kasi ang importante, hindi matataint yung inyong integrity. Hindi matataint yung iyong pagkatao. Okay? So again, two eyes na deal breakers number one if it's immoral it's an automatic no and if it's illegal automatic no then i will not condone illegal activities i will not participate in illegal activities i will not turn a blind eye when it comes to illegal activities okay now the third eye is this now this is where you can get a bit flexible if there is something that is inconsistent with my own set of values and that inconsistency is consistent. Okay? And ibig sabihin nun, again, if there is something that is consistently inconsistent with my own set of values. Now, why do I say that? Now, some of the people around would say, okay lang yun. If hindi kayo swak sa values, that's okay. You can make adjustments. And that may be true to some extent, but in my experience, if your values aren't aligned with that of the company, then it's just one quick step papunta na sa illegal, papunta na sa immoral. Ano ibig sabihin nun? For example, ako, I value performance over seniority. Okay? So again, you don't need to over-explain this until, unless yung, yung HR practitioner asks you, no? I value performance over seniority. So ibig sabihin nun, sa akin, if there are two employees that enter a company tapos may promotion, Doon ka sa mas magaling, hindi doon sa mas matagal nang nandun. Now, kung pareho silang magaling, pareho sila ng level ng performance, of course, that's the time that seniority comes in. But if hindi, if this other person is younger, newer, pero overwhelmingly better, you have to go for that person. Yun yung isa sa mga values ko. Now, another of my values would be uh, about kindness. ba? I don't tolerate bullying. And that has been true for Team Laika for the longest time. And I want the institutions that I become a part of to have that same value then. Gusto ko rin na ganun sila. So, if, say, the company condones bullying, if it, uh, it, if it allows bullying to happen, mas malala pa if the company engages in bullying, okay, even in professional bullying, I would leave. Okay. And uh, these are things that you can really explain well. For example, pa, no? I'll give you another example. I, I wrote this then and I tweeted about this then last year. I have come to the resolution that if anyone laughs at someone else, 
about something that they cannot change, I will not work with them. And that is actually because of a real experience that I had. There was this fledgling organization. I knew the founder. No? So, medyo kakilala ko siya, pero I'm actually more inclined dun sa kanyang kapatid. No? Kami talaga yung unang kumaga magkakilala. And I really look up to dun sa kapatid niya. I was invited uh, sa kanilang strategic planning session. No? And I was really prayerfully considering if I will be part of that organization. Kasi I really wanted to help. Uh, the vision was to help younger uh, leaders to come into their fullness no? to be trained and to create a positive impact in society but when I went to the planning session things went a little bit so- sideways right away <laughs> kasi um, nagbubuguyan sila um, if you could, you, could, you could call it that so basically the founder and yung mga barkada niya who were also part of the organization they would use certain words na I personally hate and don't use and I tell my students not to use they they use the word are for people who are not um, kung baga, not entirely uh, okay when it comes to their mental health they would use as in a lot of words that I wish people would unlearn uh, they it's it's a really bad situation no? for me now again there's nothing illegal naman happening you can argue argue that there's nothing immoral happening, no? Kasi wala naman talaga. Pero I knew in my heart that because this is the language that they're using and they're so used to this and they're laughing at people who are challenged, who have disabilities, I knew I couldn't work with them. And so, I resolved sa heart ko na, okay, this is the last time I'm going to participate. I would, kumaga fade into oblivion. I would step back. I would leave. Now, why? Because, again, their values were inconsistent with mine. Very showbiz answer siya if you think about it, but it really does make sense. So, again, three deal breakers for me, if I'm applying to some company and someone asks me, what are your deal breakers? What I'd say would be this. Just three things. Three eyes. If there is something immoral going on, if it's hurtful to other people, if it's morally wrong, I would leave. If there's something illegal going on, okay, whether it's something that everyone else in the industry practices or not, if anything is illegal, I would leave. And third, if there's something happening that is consistently inconsistent with my own set of values. that Those are my three deal breakers. And once you phrase it like that, ang maganda don would be the person that you're talking to would start asking more questions, would start thinking, okay, what are these and what does these words mean to you? And it's a great lead into your other experiences, into your own principles, your own definitions of success. And let me tell you this, no, it, they will be very impressed with you if you're able to explain that. Now, why do I say that? Um, one of my, sabihin natin, first na experiences when it comes to job interviews was with a CEO ng isang company. And um, he actually awarded me with the position agad ng HRD head dun sa company nila. And it was really number one, because of the grace of God. And number two, because of a really good performance interview. <laughs> Kasi undergrad ako at that time, but they still gave me the opportunity. And one of the things that we discussed was this. It wasn't phrased like that, so hindi niya tinanong na what are your deal breakers. Pero ang sabi niya sa akin ay what are the things that you wouldn't do um, to succeed, in order to succeed. And my answer was along the veins nung mga sinabi ko sa inyo ngayon. Now, why do we say that? Kasi, this is a great opportunity for you to set up rules and guidelines even before you start working for them. And now, all you have to do would be to follow those guidelines. And again, because you laid this out as the foundation of your working relationship, shape of your professional relationship with them, if they say no because they practice any of this, then you're free. It's actually a good thing. It's a blessing. Na hindi mo malalaman na may ganito after nakapasok ka na. Na masasabi na nila, okay, magbubulungan na sila na, oh, magaling sana yung candidate na yun, pero ayaw niya daw ng illegal activities. Baka mapahamak pa tayo kasi siya yung mag-report sa atin or ilaglag niya tayo. Di ba? Unahan mo na sila. And so, kung magsisay no sila because of that, then it's not an opportunity lost. It's just God saving you basically from further na... Um, damage, no, in the long run. 
Okay? So again, three eyes, illegal, immoral, inconsistent. And you should be good to go. Alright, so I hope you learned something from this uh, episode. Again, this is also going to be available in the Get Hired podcast. Kaya, kung hindi nyo pa yung napapakinggan, the link will be in the description box sa baba. If you don't want to miss the next uploads, um, you can go and check out yung ating channel. Of course, for the other um, videos, click here if you're watching this on the YouTube channel to look at the other Get Hired episodes. Marami na tayo discuss, including how to write your resume, how to write a cover letter, and stuff like that. Click on the i button na lang. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon para malaman nyo yung mga susunod pa nating uploads. Okay? Thanks for watching. And as we always say, pagdating sa Get Hired, I really hope that you land your dream job. Never stop learning. Aja-aja. Kain yan. See you next time and bye for now.